Hello everyone, today we bought a new field. Now we gotta harvest it. So come back and see us. So we gotta get to our harvesters. It was a little bit too wet last night to start harvest so we bought a new field we bought field 47 and field 48 so basically we needed more food for our cattle and that was a perfect situation it was too good for a price so I plan on planting it mostly into grass so we're gonna take this truck over here with the fuel tank we're going to get this field hopefully mostly harvested. The other day we finished up the baling of our straw. So we also have to get that picked up. So we are busy around here trying to keep up with these cattle. We'll get over here to these harvesters. So we have a draper head and a corn head so there's a corn field that's ready to pick in the back and we got to get the soybeans off this field also so we're definitely busy so we'll start the 60 series first get a little warmed up raise the head we go. We'll probably do the first lap around here. Get this. Don't know what these are going to yield, beans. We weren't the ones that fertilized them, planted them. Hoping this draper head turns a little bit better now it ended up getting a different version of this mcdon head seems like it's turning pretty well so uh the other one didn't have a contour flex i think that's what they call it in the head so it wasn't allowing it it was basically having a hard time combining and uh, turning the head any little bump or ditch in the field would create the head to just ooh, watch what I'm doing almost ran into a fence right there here we go directly in front of us then that's going to be the cornfield we're gonna harvest so it doesn't look like these are yielding too great. You probably also see something in the bottom over there. Bottom right. Yes, that is unit convert mod. Man, do I love that mod. So I get to see exactly bushels. Also get to see what I'm yielding. This is yielding uh 90 bushels per acre so that's why I really like unit convert mod it's it's kind of convenient it's preparing me for seasons because boy do I have to get my game together because seasons coming out and it's really gonna bring some realism to this game I can't wait to start playing with seasons definitely gonna be fun I'm gonna have to go back and get that little uh, corner I missed there so you guys don't get mad at me so well I don't know we might get two loads of this grain bin out of this field which I guess won't be too bad so this portion I believe I'm just gonna plant all into grass 
So we will continuously harvest around here. So you may have watched my last video on Autumn Oaks. So I was having a heck of a time with this map. So I don't know what was lagging. So I had to sell a lot of equipment. Had to repurchase these combines and buy a different edit. So I don't know what it is. I've had this problem. This is the second time I've had this problem. Uh, it's most likely one of my mod conflicts or the map. So very annoying. Took me a while to uh, get that straightened out. We are uh, running a cool 50 to 60 frames per second in here. We run about 30 at the farmyard. Also remember I have shaders on so that depletes it a little bit so other than that it seems like it's helping a lot. It looks like we're running about 90 bushels per acre so these beans are still producing really good for Ohio region so can't complain about that that's for sure. So we got about 200 bushels in the grain bin right now. Up outside in the rain today, not a clue to where or how. So we'll unload this into the grain cart just because it's sitting here. So it's and then we'll unload it into the truck and send that to the bin really quick because we need to get started with a corn harvest also. So we got I believe it was just under 300 bushels off of that field. Park this out of the way over here. Lube up this head before we put it away. Make our way over to the cornfield here slowly. Now that pass is really narrow, so I'm hoping we can get through with this 12 whirl head. So this is a true 12 row, 30 inch row head, so definitely like that. End game is a 16 row, maybe 20 inch, I'm not for sure. Looks like we will be able to pass through. We'll have to brush, mow down some brush there. So we need to unfold this head. Do a little in cab around the outside here. So definitely liking this. This is a 70 series STS. So always like combining corn. It's one of my favorite things to do is harvesting corn. Put a lot of long hours in, but it's definitely enjoyable the whole time.
Because we bought this head. This head has a stock chopper on it. So this will help us clean up them stocks afterwards. Looks like we're making about 150 bushels per acre. So that's good. It's really good for dry land corn in Ohio. I know I can get up to 200, but being this wasn't really fertilized the best, that's probably the best you can ask for. Going around, I'm not sure the acreage size of this field, so that will be interesting to find out. I guess we are hovering right at almost 150, so depending on our final outtake, we should be able to get a pretty good estimate of the acre size. like we didn't get to these weeds in this cornfield so that's another reason starve the corn of its nutritionish nitrogen so this is a definitely curved outside field surrounded by tree claims so Making her around. So I'm not sure how far we have gotten. So I think we're about two thirds of the way around this field. So we'll make it completely around. Walk up alone, feeling blue today. What on earth do I do now? What on earth do I do now? Stole some clothes of a lie. So we'll jump back into this grain cart. We need to go dump the combine here quickly. It's fast. It's already full, I guess. Watch out for them tree limbs or auger out. Just doing the headlands right now for this field. Definitely a long ways around. We're going to have to really push this 9RT to the max to keep up with this combine. For sure why he doesn't have his augers pulled out. There he goes. One load right here quickly. It's like we we can hold over 400 bushels in this combine with the big top on top. Let the combine go. So now we gotta try something. See if I can get course play to offload, run this grain cart for me. This is a new, I'm just experiment with this, have an idea that might work. So always with the grain carts, kind of just like an offload vehicle. 
so I like to start with the turn really quick to keep the dots close for the first three. It doesn't really matter after that. Uh, I think we will go this way. Keep out of that field when it's planted. Right on the concrete just for a little bit here. So course play doesn't officially have overload function out but thinking this might work not positive we are going to see so go over here load should be a wait time so we will Forty five seconds sounds good. So basically we went put off went right here, put a waypoint or waiting point down. So then I put the time frame, so I'm guessing forty five seconds. We might have to adjust that slightly. Let him fully offload here. Definitely a slow auger for Kinsey. They have some big offloading augers that take no time at all. So the key with this is going to be you're going to have to keep that uh, your auger out the whole time, which is pretty normal. A lot of farmers do that, so keeps the wear and tear of that uh, shaft and the actuator. auger as a whole just have to be mindful of it that's for sure so now we will go right over here so now we'll see if this grain cart could go around hoping it does this correctly So now it should go around the outskirts of this field, go offload the combine. We'll see how it does while we ride around in the combine. So combine's doing good, still making probably a little bit over a hundred 50 bushels per acre really enjoying this 12 row head so good looking head if you ask me It's like the 9RT is struggling to catch up around here. So I believe this will be, we have one more headland. Flashers have come on, signaling that we are over three-fourths full. Grain cart is coming around still. So this is the hardest part for the grain cart is coming around the doing the headlands. So now we have 400 bushels. That grain cart driver better 
get his butt in gear. Hoping he was lining up there. There we go. Probably way too close there, buddy. I'll have to adjust you slightly. Go. Don't know why it was kept on going there. So usually I have the combine stop when offload on the headlands. So this will be our last headland we'll do. So now we're going to see if this grain cart actually unloads into the semi. Like it's making its first turn. So this is all course play doing this. There we go. Tart the grain cart. Don't know if I really want that or not. It's not real realistic. Unless it's raining in the field, you're not going to be doing that. A little bit close to the tree limbs there. Turn on its blinkers for the highway. And we'll see how it does on this truck. There we go. Made that turn. Looks like it's going to make this turn now. It's the moment of truth. What do you know? Don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like it's working. So now it really depends on the time, wait time. I might have to extend it for a little while because this grain cart seems like it's taking a little bit longer. see how long 45 seconds actually is so it's unloading everything is working good I it's been so long since I've gotten to use course play with grain cart looks like I need to extend that wait time a little bit We'll 
move that up to almost double that. And that should be about right. There you have it, folks. So hopefully you guys were able to understand what I did there. So basically in uh, cart mode, so this is basically any cart semi offload the combine. The combine is the C and the X is the semi. So just make sure you click on that. Uh, just make sure you start and stop your waypoints in the field. Uh, I usually choose the combine I want to go after. So then you put a waypoint, which is right here. It's just, it says P. It'll say waiting point right down here. And you go to your wait time, which is on the tractor, and you extend that. Uh, one of the keys is you got to have a uh, grain cart without a adjustable auger. So this one is not adjustable. It just folds out and it folds in. So that's one thing I've keyed in on. Play. So especially if you just like combining and have course play offload you, that is one definitely benefit. So we're going along here. So we probably have two thirds of this field done already. Like in good time. Really enjoying this chopper head. So if you look, see down in there, you can really see them spinners running. I don't know if you can see that or not. Them spinners are chopping up that corn head, them corn stalks. Not sure what appears that our 9RT took the wrong turn there so you're supposed to turn into the field there buddy there you go looks like you're having a better time there Course play is still beta, and this is kind of tricking course play into unloading the harvester. We're at almost full. So we're at 97%. I don't know if we're going to get to the end of the field here. Nope. Grain cart operator has to pick it up. definitely get your kidneys jarred in a running grain cart. So we just have a sliver left here. That's it. Not very much. Not sure what our 9RT is doing over there. This should be the last of it. We'll go unload quickly. We'll take this girl on home. Doing a pathway back to the house there so we can get all the vehicles back home. We need to swap this grass up here soon so we can get it fed to the cattle. Bail that up. This corn is about ripe beside us here. Won't be long for that. 
quite a bit of corn acres. So we will end it here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later in Ohio.